Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Avalanche Fan 133, and we're back here starting my be a pro goalie mode in NHL 17. I don't know why I said we're back. It's a habit. I'm sorry, but we're starting NHL 17 be a pro goalie mode. If you watched last year, I had 63 episodes of it on NHL 16 before. It finally got tiring with the coach feedback. Hopefully that's all fixed, but we're not going to go into that too much. Uh, today I'm starting with the Kootenay Ice uh, in the WHL. Yes, the WHL. The, really, I think the only suggestion I got, I had no idea who to be. I'm not familiar with these teams at all, so I decided to go with them. And congratulations, sir, you got me to go to the team you wanted to. Um, I've played a few games. We'll go over that really quick before anything else. Um, just because I wanted to get, uh, trying out, uh, the gameplay settings and get used to this game. My first game was a 6-3 to three loss. I've used different settings in almost every game. Uh, these three I didn't start. Uh, then, um, let's see. 3-1 win. I think that might have been my first game. Yeah, and then we lost four or one four to one. Well, let's see, it was either that or this. No, I'm pretty sure it was the three to one. And then uh, we lost four three. I was in net for that one. And here against the Broncos, that was a bad game. But I did change up the settings between this game and that game. I'm trying to just tweak it to where we get realistic stats too. Um, I've had sh shots go a little low, and I don't want the games to last too long. Anyways, I'm 64 overall. I, I did start as 63, went up a little bit. Um, all these reflexes were at 71 to start. I'm uh, 17 years old. Uh, passing, I think, has gone up, but if any of this has gone up, it's only gone up one overall point, but that's a look. I really want to get that speed up. Uh, rebound control really needs to go up. I can really feel that in the speed. Uh, my goalie gives up a lot of rebounds, and I like that, seeing, like, my goalie's bad. I felt like last year's game, let's get into edit player and show off my player. Last year's game, it didn't really feel much different playing a 99 goalie compared to when you first start out. Uh, this is my goalie, Tyler Munder. Uh, I got my play-by-play -play name as my first name. It's a little weird. I may change that later if it gets kind of annoying. You can actually change your number this year. Holy crap, I can't believe that. Uh, they added that in, but you can't change your goalie stance. This is my second be a pro because I chose stance six, which I know is kind of popular, and I liked it, but I, something about the look from the back didn't look right uh, from the camera, and he was not quite as wide. I found out goalie stance 26 is Jonathan Quick stance, and I love it. So this is what I'm using. It's nice and wide. It's low to the ground. I love it. So I'm using that. I'm going with number 34 this year. I can change it, so that's nice. I might even go back to number one, and then I can change it if somebody else has number one. Um, but I'm gonna stick with 34 for now Fighter you can change that why not, but you can't change your goalie stance. What the heck? Uh, so maybe that'll be next year's game um, yeah, I'm never fighter and that's just uh, all that stuff keep colors when traded is an option down here I like to keep it so I can change it later. I have not customized my colors yet. I'm not going to yet uh, But these are the pads. I'm using I might change that up but these are my favorite. I know there's some new ones. Uh, nothing really doing here. Uh, just that's a closer look at my player. He looks angry with this face. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, that's him. Discard this changes. Uh, anything else? Uh, we're four and four. Yeah, four and four. I think mostly the backup goalie has been winning games. Uh, this is a look at our team. Not too great, but I'm all right with that. Uh, Deschanel, De Deschanel, I don't know how to say his name, and Zabor, I'm terrible with names, Zaboroski, something like that, uh, and then all these other guys who, uh, Alfaro, and 
all so low in overall. Maybe they'll grow a little during the season. And then defense doesn't look any better. 58. 53 is our second defense. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, but that's all right. We're starting out. Um, Hofflin is our uh, goalie uh, who's higher overall than me, but his potential is AHL starter. Interesting thing is you get a potential, and it says AHL fringe goalie. Wasn't it last year you were just franchise right off the bat? Maybe, like, if you do kind of okay you uh you'll get a potential that's kind of okay like i'll get starter instead of franchise or i could get uh elite or something ahl starter let's hope not that's a look at my stats right now i'm sure you saw it before not too great i'm trying to tweak the settings and hopefully get it better i have been really rusty though but i played a bunch of games today online so there's that Let's start getting into it because I'm going to show off some of the settings and there's one issue I'm having uh, changing the settings. So hopefully it'll be fixed. We're just going to use home and away. Um, they had some... Uh, uh, they had an update come out that fixed some things. I know there's some issues going on right now. I heard that uh, stick lifts are broken. Um, and goalie... Uh, just a lot of stuff that just... A little messed up, but hopefully they'll iron those out. I'm having fun still with it, and I'm barely into this Be a Pro, but I'm going to play a lot. Okay, so there's Be a Pro presets now. Do I want to change this? I'm going to change it just to show you. Quick, which is like, of course, you can see five-minute period length, and uh, that's traditional gameplay style. Medium, which is competitive gameplay style, and 10-minute period length. And real time, which is full sim 20-minute periods definitely never gonna do that um i want to get through my career i'm using quick to base set i don't know if that does anything i i don't know if it affects the coach feedback that's what i'm wondering i'm gonna use quick i'm gonna use uh full sim right now because that's what i'm getting uh with the good games so far uh six minute period length and i'm trying to get it to uh get enough shots uh authentic uh be a pro settings we're using superstar since uh in the beta it seems like that worked the best uh latest gameplay version again a few gameplay versions have come out and they just overwrite version 1.0 i don't know why give us the option to go back to default like fresh released nhl that's why this is in here not so they could just overwrite version 1.0 and just there's no point for this to be an option if they're gonna do this uh anyways that's enough ranting uh the shot aim don't know why that's there uh this camera i don't think changes anything but i am using the fixed camera which i know might be a little weird at first for you guys watching and might be a little bit straining on the eyes if you're watching on a smaller screen or a phone or something. I apologize. Uh, this is what I'm going to be using this year. Uh, I wish I could use the uh, uh, the high camera. Um, I don't think this is just cameras and stuff. I wish I could use that, but the now the controls aren't camera uh, related, relative. Uh, so... When I try to move back and the camera's at a weird angle, it just, it's so awkward. So it just completely makes that worthless. So that's <laughs> like impossible. Uh, on ice trainers, nothing. Controller settings, just to show off what I'm using here. Um, uh, skill stick, of course. I turn that auto backskate off a number of times. I don't like that. Uh, that's all that. Uh, goalie controls. I like the default controls. I know a lot of people like alternate, but I like the default. I feel like it works better with these newer goalies. Uh, precision default is on. That's huge key. I'm keeping the covers on auto so far this year because I don't seem to be getting screwed as much with the auto goalie cover. So I'm going to try that. Uh, human goalie sweeps are on too. I think I left that on uh, overall. So that's all my settings. Now the gameplay sliders, there's new gameplay sliders and there is a lot of them. There are also mostly a hundred point, but not all of them like attribute effects, still five of 10, uh, game speeds, three of six. I mean, 
I'm gonna bump that up because that's one of the things I need to change. And I couldn't change it before entering the game. I hope it saves here. Um, and there's some new settings. I'm not gonna go over everything. Uh, skating agility, shooting. I don't think anything's new, but uh, lots of passing stuff. Pickup type effect, bouncing puck receptions. And they give a good description there on the side. Like the higher the value, the easier it is to acquire a bouncing puck. Uh, previous games we had to kind of guess, like with puck control, it we did we, some of us were confused, and a lot of people were confused. Is it higher you keep the puck or higher you lose the puck? And it is the higher the value, the more control players will have with the puck. So there's that. Uh, there's also deking impact. There's so much stuff. There's all these goalies, goalie cross crease reaction time, so I can turn that way down if, like, the mainly if this AI goalie is just making ridiculous saves and I need us to be able to score better. Uh, goalie screen persistence. That's really interesting. Uh, how long it takes a goalie to find the puck after the screen is gone. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then all this crap. Uh, I'm gonna go to penalties here, and I'm having trouble getting uh, the AI to take penalties, like last year at the start. I'm gonna bump them both up to 90. Uh, but you can actually affect each individual penalty, and that's pretty cool. Elbowing's way down. I guess that's good. And then there's all this. I mean, it's not everything. Where's the classic spearing? You don't see that anymore. <laughs> Uh, the old games. Let's see if this saved because I'm having a lot of issues with it saving. Yes, it did. Okay, so there's a glitch where if you set up the gameplay version or set up a custom style and everything and then you want to change it, you like change something uh, without going into the game. I'll talk about this while it's loading. You change something and... Uh, then you back out, then you go back in, and it's back to your old custom settings, if that makes sense. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. Um, and then you can't do anything. So you have to start a game and then, or start going into a game and then change it like right where I was changing it. And uh, then, then you can change it and set that up, I believe. So hopefully I don't have to change it before every game. That would be quite annoying. I hope this uh, first episode doesn't run too long with all the stuff I have to go over and all the stuff I have to talk about. But if it does, then sorry. And uh, I'm also worried I'm going to forget about stuff. We're watching this intro, but I'm not listening to them at all. I've not won a game in the last five games. That's not good. They're like, what? Two, five, and one? Two, four, and one? Something like that, I thought. When uh, we first saw... Also, new capture card. Hopefully, I won't have any issues recording this. I had some issues with my mic popping. So, hopefully, that's fine. I'm actually recording my mic twice right now, just to make sure it's fine. Um... You, some of you with bigger screens and higher resolutions will notice you got 1080p 60 frames per second before I had 720 60 frames. And so I got an upgrade. Yeah. So I was tired of changing my Xbox back to 720 to be able to get 60 frames. So I really wanted to get something new. Uh, AI dumps it a lot more. Ooh, I almost didn't hug that post. So I'm not having any issue getting my team play this year. That is really good. Also, I thought I heard from somebody somewhere that the coaching grades weren't as important or weren't important at all as your performance. Either way, I got to get my stats up. Definitely from last year. Hopefully I can get these gameplay settings right and everything. Early pressure by... What, who are they? The Pats? Oh, boy. They've got a lot of puck control here. Oh, all the way across. Got that high blocker save. Huge save right off the bat. Oh, getting to go right in. Oh, I thought that was one of their players. Saw him out of my corner, out of the corner of my eye. Oh, I thought that one time it was coming. And they get it right back from us. But I'm hoping to have a good year. I got drafted third round. I don't remember what overall last year by Columbus. Be interesting to see who I get drafted by. I'm actually throwing that out. Kind of dangerous, but be interesting to see who I get drafted by after this season. Oh, there's a penalty. I'm falling asleep. Okay. 
So that's good. Penalty right off. I'm hoping a pe uh, power plays penalties will even out the shots a little bit. I've been getting like maybe on average 25 per team. Shot that right into a teammate. It's so one thing it would be nice if they added uh, the AI's awareness of the shooting lane. Whoa. Floater right over the net. So that they won't shoot it directly into a guy. That slapped around. Won't be able to get that. Uh, goalies seem faster getting out of the net. Like, I can get to some pucks, but it might be the new puck physics. They, they have new physics this year, right? Like, they talked about that, right? I can't remember, but it does seem like the... Oh, yeah, the puck rolls on edge this year, and we took a penalty. That's what it is. It will actually slide around the net easier when they dump it in more lightly. So that allows me to get the puck more. I don't want to have to play the puck, and I don't really want to play the puck, but... Ooh, he got to go right around everybody. But it's part of the game, and I have to for my team play it. Ooh, what? Did that get slowed up and then reshot or something? Oh, now we just took a penalty. I hope I don't have penalties too high. Well, we'll see. I had it at 70, I think, last game, and there was only a couple penalties. So, might go back to 70 or something. Ooh, good swat out of the zone but this is good this is a good start to this game nothing allowed yet hoping to do well i feel good he's got a guy going down the left he's gonna pull up throw it to that guy get out on him oh he might have had some room there i like hug the post a little off but that left bumper hugging the post when you're already down in butterfly just like the post lean so nice can get around so much faster poked away in the slot got way out to get it another big save you have to kind of go out oh i thought we had it for a second you have to go out and actually uh challenge the shot in this game and i love that because positioning is more important and i can go and play uh more aggressive i like playing aggressive but in previous games, it kind of hurt you because it was not important. You could just sit in the middle of your crease way deep in it. So, so far, I like that. Um, I'm saying a lot of good things. Let me uh, think if there's anything bad. Uh, I did play online and had a lot of just really crappy bounces going and just to... It's tough, uh, and now they took a hooking penalty. Lots of hooks so far. Um, it's so tough on breakaways and one-on-ones and stuff like that, but it seems easier on one-timers this year. And maybe I'm just bad at breakaways and such, but goalies feel slower, although it, it could be my goalie here in the Be A Pro just feels really slow because he is slow. Um... But I think it felt slower online, too. I don't know. Gameplay overall was pretty slow. So, I think I heard some people really upset that it's a lot slower than the beta. Uh, a lot of people were upset that it changed a lot from the beta. It seems a little different, but I, I don't really know myself. I mean, I definitely is slower gameplay. So, that's one of the reasons why I've wanted to bump it up to five game speed. Might even go up to six. I don't know. We're getting tons of shots here in the first because of how slow it's going. This is all the penalties. Oh, right into the bench. I need to play some pucks. Um, what else? I was going to say something. <laughs> Dang it. Knocked down at center. Oh, takes a big hit. And there goes our power play. Nobody scored on a power play, but there's been plenty of opportunities. Ooh, pass across. And there's another penalty. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Ooh, four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right now because I don't want this game lasting forever. We're going to go into the gameplay sliders. Go all the way to penalties. Ah, what do I think? I'm going to bump it to 70 again, and we're going to sit at that for now. I did only play one game at 70, but let's do that. I want to make sure that saves, though, because I'm paranoid because these 
EA doesn't know how to make it to where it saves. Yeah, we're good. Okay, back to the action. Let's take a look at the shots real quick. 9-4. to four, And hopefully we won't get too many more penalties. I mean, I like them more. Maybe, uh, I think there was a gameplay tuner update I downloaded today. Maybe that improved the penalties. I gotta look at the patch notes, or... I saw the patch notes of the update. I think that has tuner notes, too. I can post that link in the description. Uh, the update... I can't remember. I thought it said improving goalie speed. Oh, almost got that in the post. Uh, but I didn't really notice much difference. And uh, one of the things that I think got disabled, some glitch was happening, but you can actually pull the goalie now and... And there's another penalty because he dove to try to block that and trip the guy. Jeez. Uh, but um, you can pull the goalie in the ASHL and actually play as the extra attacker. Like the goalie gets to play as him. That's really, really cool. Oh yeah, I think I heard that it was glitching the leaderboards or something. So EA disabled that for now. So that's not going on right now. But oh, so many face-offs. Um, but I'm sure they'll get that fixed and everything, hopefully. So far, a rocky launch, at least from everybody else. I'm leaving that one. I don't want to get those ones in the corners as much. Just because I can get the ones behind my net a little more often. Or I, I will get more opportunities. Ah, oh, miss a net. We have a five on three. Oh, deflected. It's right there. Shot. Oh, another save. Getting some great opportunities, great shots. This one, I'm going to get. And send it up. Oh, almost turned it over. That could have been bad. Although, if I turn it over once, I definitely should have an opportunity to get my team play. Um, well, they kept it, and now I get a face off. Um... If I turn it over twice, it might be tough. Uh, also, the penalty time scaling by default is like 5 out of 6. I'm just going to leave this one. Um, so I bumped that down to 2 out of 6, which is what I think I was using in the NHL 16. 5 out of 6. That's almost real time. That would make the games last forever. And that's just way too much. Yeah, I would get like 15 shots in one power play. Got that Be too much. See, this puck is gonna roll, and that would have made it behind the net, and I could have stopped it if my defense didn't get there so fast. But here goes another power play over. Nobody scored on them. I don't know who has the more power plays, but both teams have a lot. Well, I think we have more. Some good possession, pass stopped. You'll see some of the net battles going on. I think that that's more handy for the AI. Ooh, good chance there. Back behind the net into the corner. Nobody going after him. Finally picks him up. Oh, in front. Couldn't get it. Uh, I don't see uh, many people online using the net battles. Oh, big hit. They close people off when they cross the blue line. It would be nice if they, you know, jammed them at the blue line more often instead of giving them entry. But I'm not complaining too much. It's better this year. Almost on this first period, finally. And they're offside. Did we push a guy offside? I feel like we did. But I'm confident I can uh, figure out some settings. There's a save. Come on, get the pass. No, he did. He mishandled it, so it didn't give me a plus. But I'm confident I can get these settings correct so I get realistic stats this year and hopefully I can play well there's I, I feel like I made a lot of improvements last year and also I don't know my whole thought process of being goalie I think I figured out one of my uh, issues but let's talk about these stats and then I'll talk about that in a second uh 0 for 4 we were on the power play they were over two way too many face-offs and power plays uh, we had a good uh, passing percentage, but let's get started. Um, one of my issues, my own personal issues playing goalie, sometimes I worry about my positioning way too much. And I'm trying to get it perfect. 
while I'm not scanning the ice and looking for where a potential pass might go. So that's one of the things I've uh, identified and hopefully we'll get better at not doing. <laughs> oh, I was a little slow to react to that one. That was an auto cover. I can throw that over there. Ooh, that was a bad pass. He just threw him out in front of a bus and basically killed his teammate. Jeez. That was bad. And we'll get another penalty. Uh, maybe I'd rather turn off penalties the rest of the game. I don't think we'll get too many more, but I don't know. I'm hoping this game doesn't last too long. Uh, so, Kootenai, don't know anything about them. Don't even know where that is. Um, don't know any of these players. But I don't think I knew really... Let's see, I played for Erie last year with Connor McDavid. <laughs> it was so... It feels like that was so long ago. I can barely remember that. And, uh... That was all right. I think I had a uh, little trouble there, and that was the OHL, I think. <laughs> I'm still getting familiar with all these uh, leagues and teams, and I didn't know about these too much before they... Uh, eh, I can't really get that. Before they added them into the NHL series. But I'm excited for the World Cup of Hockey and NHL season starting. World Cup of Hockey, I'm really excited for. Uh, I think starts September 17th. Some exhibition games have been going on, but I haven't uh, watched really any. I saw the highlights of one of the uh, North American Youngsters games, and man, they look good. Aaron Ekblad scored two goals. They're against Team Europe, I think. That was uh, probably not their last game. Uh, it's one of their games that I saw the highlights of, and they looked really good. So let's see if they can do anything. Oh, he missed that one-timer. I was a little slow getting over. One-timer from the point could have been dangerous. But my goalie was giving up a lot of... Oh, moving over a little bit. A little uh, troublesome. My goalie was giving up some goals just to snipes early in the season. So I'm, I'm lucky that last one didn't go in. Uh, I've given up a few goals moving when the shot has come. It's really screwed me over. Now dump it. Can I get it? Yes, I can. See, I can... Oh, I missed him. See, I can get those pucks now. It's possible as long as I react immediately. If I hesitate at all, it's gone. That's a good glove save. So far, I think their goalie has faced the brunt of the chances. And neither of us have given up anything. So far, I'm liking this, these gameplay settings. Uh, we had 10 shots apiece there in the first. Uh, this period, I don't know if we're going to get quite that many. With not as many power plays. Oh, he did. Oh, my gosh. It didn't count that. I'm okay with that because my goalie shouldn't have even really tried. And he's able to deny the shooter on what he Maybe he shouldn't have tried to get that, or at least that shouldn't have been knocked in. Wasn't it on the outside of the post? I don't know. Kind of catch a break, but also almost got screwed by the game. That was really close, though. We're about halfway through this game now. Slapper, net battle going on right in front, but he couldn't get it on net. Had a good screen. So far, I like the improvements to the AI. Still not great, but it's improved. Especially the defense. Oh boy, as I say that, this guy spins away from our defense and just snipes it by me. Ah, I gave up too much room there on the blocker. I say great defense, and he just got spun around. Uh, yeah, he just took like one more little bit over, and I didn't react. 
Just gave them a, too much room there. The positioning is huge in this game. I'm goaling, goalie, uh, and I, I'm gonna have to really get better at it. At least, at least identify when the shots are coming because you can really tell when they're coming when the AI is out there. Ooh, that was a good backskate pickup there, and the fight. You got it. Looking for options. Got a man in the corner. Gets pinned against the boards. Kicks it to him. Stewart across for the D-man. Slapper. Save. Rebound. Covered. 718 left. Uh, I'm going to be thinking a lot on if I'm forgetting anything. But there's always episode 2 for that. So. Hopefully I won't forget anything. Dumped around. We pick it up. We send it back. Luckily Stewart was there. Gets checked off. Ooh, big save. No rebound. I can toss that out. That was actually a really good uh, rebound control there. Dumped around. There's a lot of dump-ins, and I think there's more dump-ins on the full sim gameplay settings than the competitive. I was having the competitive just have way too many goals. Way too many quality shots and goals going in. Ooh, good poke check. He's going to skate down the left side, shaded by the defenseman. Entering the zone. I think we did a bit of a line change. Sent around, knocked down. Wow. It's a good knockdown. Tried to get around two guys. He does. In front. Oh, the bouncing puck just tipped away. We just couldn't get it to him. We turned it over, and then they took another penalty. This might be good on the uh, settings for penalties. Maybe a tiny bit higher. So far, what, we've had three? Three or four since I've changed it? I don't know. I don't want, I don't want it to be too many. I'm thinking, like, three per team on average a game would be great. I left that, and they, like, backed off and, like, thought I was going to pass it. Got Flurry, the defenseman, jumping up. Drops that off to his winger. Back to him. Slapper. Blocked. Zaborski? I, I can't say his name. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not processing that right. Is that guy the same name? Ooh, that's going to roll kind of over here. So I get a grab and a pass. I didn't really talk about my grades in that intermission, but we're about to another one. Oh, there's a big rebound right there. Ooh, another shot wide. Just wide. We're missing too much. Soft shots seem to get too big of rebounds, though, uh, in this game for some reason. I'm going to get that. Throw it to him. Luckily, I had nobody rushing me. Last eight seconds. We're down one to nothing. Can we get something here? No, he passed it off the side of the net, although he almost got help from their own defense. Almost put it in. 16 saves. Shot blocked off the faceoff, and we will end that period. Second period over. I'm hitting all my grades right now. B, B, B minus, B plus. So far, so good. B plus in team play already. That's really good. Uh, saves. All right. Uh, 16 shots apiece. Only six shots apiece in that long period. See, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use the full sim gameplay because they just, they're not shooting quite as much. I gotta, I might look back if there was any specific. No, I just used. Competitive was all I could choose in that beta video, that first beta video I made. Competitive and, uh, and, uh, superstar difficulty. I thought I tried that, and it just, I wasn't able to keep the puck out. It was just really, really difficult. Right now, I like this. It's just they're dumping it too much and not shooting it as much. Oh, if he wasn't at such a tough angle. That was a freebie right there. They just missed. 
Not enough offense in full sim, but too much offense in competitive. So we have the two that I'm trying to get between. So I'm confident I can uh, figure that out. I was hoping setting the game speed to five would have evened that out. Good poke checks, and he'll keep it. But yeah, I also poke checks a lot more. I think I talked about that in the uh, beta, and we took a penalty. That's not good. So, AI uses their stick more often. That's really good. They don't just let you skate by as much. Ooh, goalie reacted to the pass. Still hate that. But was able to keep it out as I think someone poked that off his stick. Tie up. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. While we watch that fast goal, you can see in the bottom left, two times XP, just get one. Those are little situational things that come up, and they're really nice. We'll look at that after the replay and everything. Wow, it was a tie-up. We got it, lost it, and passed it over in the slap or one-timer just super fast. The goalie just went down to cover the five hole. I don't know if he saw that. I barely saw that. So let's pause. That's the same guy, second goal. Uh, game situation. Get Just get one. Help inspire our offense by making some big saves. Two times XP for saves. You will get that uh, popping up in the games. And I really like that because it's like... Oh, now I can do better. Unfortunately, if I give up a goal like I just did, I believe I get negative two times XP. So that's bad. Um, sometimes those go away after a goal is scored. I think maybe if we score one, maybe two. Oh, he shot it wide again. Um, it might uh, go away. But uh, I can't think of what else I saw. Oh, boy. Yep, two times, 102 XP gone. Completely left out to dry there. So our guy got beat around, and that guy got to just sit behind the goal line as long as he wanted. And then we got a guy who got beat in the slot. I was scared he was going to drive the net, and I wanted to hug that post. Regina's goal has built an even bigger lead. Sanford again with the hat trick. Wow. So that was unfortunate that we had two defensive mistakes. Two defensive coverage mistakes. Just like that. It's been a good game. Otherwise, sent around. Turned over. Blocked. Bouncing puck. And there will be another penalty as he was just hacking and whacking. Trying to get that puck back. 0 for 6, 11 shots. We're really struggling on the power play. Let's hope we can go 1 for 7. Ooh, blocked. Thought I was going to try to get that, but didn't make it down. Ooh, he was going to have a breakaway, but he gets slashed. So far, I'm going to start the next game at 70 penalties. So far, we're getting more than I thought we would. I guess that one game was just an off game. I don't know. Maybe competitive? Did I use competitive last time? I don't remember. Maybe that uh, has more pe less penalties, or maybe the last gameplay tuner increased the penalties. I don't know. HT, isn't that a hat trick? He already got... A hat trick. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, they're on the power play. Woods. Pass missed and sent out. I think I'm going to have to go back to the competitive gameplay settings and just figure out a way to uh, nerf the goal scoring a little. I think I'm going to also still use the five minute game speed. Oh, it stayed around there. Sliding around there a bit too much there. Will we be able to score? Oh, stopped. Oh. Just can't get anything. Seem to have a little issue uh, getting the AI to score on full sim. I played, this isn't my first game on full sim. 
So, they've scored before. I don't remember if I've, uh... Ooh, this is a good back pass. Oh, pass went off of him. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Something about goal scoring on full sim. Or, I don't know if I've lost all my games on full sim. And there's another slash. Jeez. I also see, I think that my situation changed. It says need a goal, I believe. It's the same thing. It, it's two times for saves. It's hoping we get back into it. I'm just not getting any shots this game. Every time they skate down the ice, they're dumping it in or setting up a one-timer or something. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have to tweak it. I was hoping, just hoping so bad. I knew it wouldn't, but I was hoping right out of a box I would be able to play this game. Can I get a good pass? I did. Kind of a... Did that a little riskily. Riskily? Is that even a word? I don't know. Ooh, right in! Goalie got out and stopped him. Took away that angle. Hines shot blocked. A lot of blocked shots. I wonder if that's changed for full sim. Ah, it's blocked too. Smith drops it back. And then sent in. I just like to hug the post standing up sometimes just to get that plus on the angles. Uh, otherwise, don't really need to do it at all. Shot. I don't know if that hit the goalie or not. I don't think so. Nah, my defenseman's going to get that before I can. So we missed out on another power play. So that's unfortunate. I would love to have the time and everything. Oh, okay. It's a high shot. The time and everything to play the 10 minute periods full sim. But unfortunately, I don't want my videos to be an hour and 15 minutes, and I don't want uh, I don't want to play through an entire career playing that long of games. That's just ridiculous. There I go again. We got two guys chasing him, and I didn't fully see what happened there. I was looking at my goalie. It's a pass, but it gets intercepted, but off? I don't know. Down to 340 left. Still haven't gotten a goal. Can we break out the shutout? I don't think... I don't feel too confident on us coming back, but it's possible. Ugh, blocked again. We're just not getting shots to the goalie. We're either missing or just getting them blocked. I'm going to shoot it there. Uh, and he got bumped off. And then high stick the guy. Uh, 228. Maybe I can get some saves in here before the end of the game. Hopefully not give up anything more. That's my main goal. It should be oh, moved a little bit on that shot. A little dangerous. That should be my goal right now. Like, don't allow anything more. Try to get out of here with what they have. I don't know. Try to improve your stats. Back to the point. High slot. Blah, uh, wide, but hit our guy. And I just gave him that. I can't move. Okay. And, oh, got it. Tipped on the glove. Man, that was a bad turnover. And I was making wrong moves. I was a little rough. Yeah, it wasn't a little rough. That was quite rough. Here they come again. I'm, I'm just not expecting some of the passes they're doing. That one I saw. Ooh, we're just going to cover that. I got my team play up. I don't need to risk anything. Although it's going to go down some for this loss. Good face off. Loss. Turnover. I don't know. Ooh, blocked. It's just so many blocked shots. Flurry fighting for it. Got it poked away, but got help. And that pass misses. What is it, 30 seconds? I can't see the scoreboard. Going in deep. Two guys chasing him. Back to the point. And he snipes it in. Now it's play for pride. I don't know what that's going to give me a bonus for, but man, I was there. I goalie just gave that up. I feel like some of the goals I'm giving up are because of how bad my goalie is. 
You knew the puck was going to end up in the back of the net. I just moved a tad too far to the left. I'm so used to the uh, to the goalies stopping that, though. Hang on, let me just look at... Oh, yeah, that shows two. It's two times XP for team play. Okay, um, that showed uh, his, he has two goals. I forgot they changed that. That's his two, second goal of the season. The other guy actually, I think, had two goals in this game. Definitely wasn't the hat trick. Oh, so close to ending the shutout with 3.8 seconds left. Oh, that's disappointing. Ugh, oh, dang. One more chance. Nope, that's it. Four to nothing we will fall to the Pats. Pats, yeah. Ugh, oh, that's disappointing. But wow, we didn't get any offense, anything. I just uh, remembered that the attribute effects are 5 out of 10. Wait, no. That wasn't a 10-notch slider in NHL 16. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, I just freaking left out the dry there. That was probably my bad. I should have had it either way. That one I feel like I should have had. Even though he shouldn't have been all alone with me. I got to get better at those one-on-one -on -one situations. I am not good in those. I'm best at reading the play and getting back into position after a rebound and stuff like that. But missed my saves. That's unfortunate. Just barely. And this is new, this end of game where it shows all my, my last five games. I hit my team play in every game except for last game. Right, a C plus. So that's good. But I really need to get my stats up there. Uh, this is kind of new where it's like my coach feedback gave me 1.3 times multiplier for XP. But I got a negative 0.2 for a loss. So my final ends at 1.1. So get a little more. Agility went down 90. Stick low went down 12. Angles went up 275. Jeez. Um, passing went up 275. Puck playing frequency went up 275. I wonder if they balance these any. Because like glove high, stick high was way too easy to get last year. It's just maxed out too fast. Um... Passing and puck playing frequency, I think, is going to still max out too fast. Agility, we'll see. It seems like that goes up a bit, but I actually lost 90. So, I don't know. Let's see what the end shots were, because I don't think those were where I wanted it to be anyways. Uh, only negative was for the loss, minus 7%. Still got a 79 in team play, 77 in positioning, 62 in saves, 8% off. 70 overall uh 23 22 wow so after that first period where there was just a ton of penalties and we had 10 shots apiece uh each team got 13 and 12 for the rest of the game when i bumped down the power play so overall i don't think full sim is gonna work for me it's just too much dumping in too many blocked shots maybe that was just how this game went though I don't know. I, I still think I might uh, try competitive again and fiddle with that. I, I'm, I'm really not sure. Either way, hopefully I'll have something set up. I get 4 off 23. I hopefully will have something set up by second episode. At least something to work on. And uh, let me know, guys, if you have anything you're using. If you're have a be a pro goalie i don't know of any of you i know some of you have told me about some things that have gone on uh, especially last year uh so i missed my uh saves for last period and it still shows it that's pretty cool or yeah it always showed it uh we're gonna face the red deer rebels who are six one and two to start the season that's not Fun, but 821 save percentage, 4.01 goals against average, way too much. Um, I think I'm going to be trying out competitive and trying to tweak it. Uh, I don't know of anything about like the standings, what divisions. We're in the central division. Yes, we are. Uh, Red Deer's in this division with us, so big division matchup. 
they look pretty good. So far, we are scoring 2.11 goals per game and allowing 2.78. It's not great. 4% power play, 1 for 25. Jeez. Meanwhile, Calgary has a 46.7%. Jeez. Uh, our penalty kill sucks. Even though we didn't, ah, uh, no. Did we allow a power play goal that last game? I don't even remember. I am, <laughs> I don't have a good memory. Uh, and then there's all these divisions. Let's just look at entire league and who's leading it. Swift current Broncos, we got beat by them. Uh, game before this last one that we just played. Uh, and then all these guys, yeah. So, interesting, I don't know who is any players to watch out for, really? I, I knew a few guys in the other leagues, but uh, Connor Bleakley is on Red Deer, but he got traded. He was an Avs prospect. He got traded to uh, Arizona, I think, for Mikhail Bodker this last season which unfortunately we didn't keep, but I won't go into that. Um, I think that about wraps up everything for my first uh, game, my first episode. I uh, still got some tweaking to go on, uh, but I think there's enough there for me to tweak. I mean, did you saw all those sliders. I have so many sliders to tweak and mess with. I should be able to get something going and uh, hopefully get good realistic shots good realistic defense and get some good realistic goals and stuff like that anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button if you want to see more i will be going through a lot of these probably i played 63 just episodes of nhl 16 be a pro goalie i don't even remember what season i was in See, that's how bad my memory is. Uh, but I was really deep into it. I was with so many different teams. I plan on beating that this year, hopefully, if this is good enough and I play through it. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. That helps me out a bunch. Let me know if you're using any settings that might be working better for you or any tips or anything you want to let me know about. I would love to hear. Um... Anything you want to know also like any uh, basic controls anything like that you can leave it in the comments I know uh, this first video will hugely gets a lot of views uh, And I check my comments quite often and I will reply if I get the chance and I'm avalanche fan 133 and I will talk to you guys later uh, if you guys want me to do an EASHL goalie, I can do that too. The new, um, oh boy. The Cavalier, who big save there on him. Dowdy, big rebound. I would love to see more rebounds. Oh, I really haven't gotten anything. Steal. Trying to pass. Ooh, good check. Oh, he got it again. He made the save. Larson right in. Still lose, glove save.